Hey everybody, this is Scott Wainwright, and I want to do a quick tutorial on how to create a unit in Mass Brutality. And we generally uh, suggest that it's one normal human-sized person per hit point in a module. So a module, let's do basic ranged here. There's three hit points in a basic module for ranged, and there's three humans here. Now these are handgunners. You could make them pistoliers or whatever you want, but let's stick with basic ranged. This module will get your normal two shots, even though there's three people there, and one attack in melee. If we add this second module here, now the unit is two modules of basic range. They will be getting four shots and two melee attacks, and they have a total of six hit points. Now, if we add a third module, it's nine hit points, six shots, and three melee attacks. You see how this is going on here. And as we add more modules, each module that's added to the unit adds another model ability, and the unit ke keeps the model abilities of all of them, even if some of the modules are missing or they die. Adding a fourth module will be 8 shots, 4 melee attacks, and 12 hit points. And, of course, it would go to reason that if you add a fifth module, there could be up to 6 in a unit. A fifth module, that would be 10 shots, 5 melee attacks, and my people are... Not quite in formation here, but you get the point. And that is how we make a unit. They would have five unit abilities. So you could pick things like piercing, point blank, extra range, anti-monster ranged, that sort of thing. And they all benefit from it, which is really cool. But it's high risk, high reward, because yes, you're getting 10 shots when you go to attack, but you uh, one confusion token will take out the whole unit and they're all confused. So it's high risk, high reward. Um, but it is obviously devastating when they actually do fire and um, it can have a pretty big impact. Now units can have up to six modules. So of course you could add a six module or you could attach a character such as this general here. And he is a support module and he will get his powers or abilities that he has for free. And uh, that is your six module unit right there. So that's a total of, um, what, 16 people? And um, it would be getting 10 shots. Now, of course, he is going to throw in his melee attacks with anything that they do in melee. If he had shots, he would also throw his shots in with them um, if you gave him like a six inch ranged or something. And um, he can buff the whole unit. Now let's try a different type of unit, something that isn't ma made up of human sized people. What if we took a Tyranid, let's say an Exocrine, and we put him down, let's see how we might make him. Now when statting out a single model unit like this, it really comes down to your opinion of what it looks like. To me, it looks like a three module unit. That's about how big I think he should be. If I thought he should be especially powerful or tough, maybe make him four modules. But he does not look that big and tough to me. So I usually go with three ordnance modules for him. So yes, that would be six shots. And uh, yes, it would be three attacks in melee, and he would have nine hit points, which is pretty nice. And give him things like shielding or whatever. I also like to um, put these dice next to these models so they know how many modules are in it. All I have to tell my friend is that he's an ordinance, and he sees the three dice, and he knows it's three modules left on that ordinance. Now let's go with the old Carnifex. This is an old metal one-eye Carnifex. They look like two modules to me, and if your Carnifex is three or four, it really doesn't matter because you're paying the points for it, and it can just be a stronger breed of Carnifex than I use. But my Carnifexes are usually two modules, either a Breacher or a Brute or something like that, and they would get two model abilities. Now, I can attach a character, a support um, module, and of course he gets his own hit points as well, and this is how I like to make it clear to my opponents that... Uh, exactly how many modules they are left and how many hit points are left. And hopefully this clears it up. Um, so obviously the Zoanthrope there could buff him or buff the Carnifex and his unit or buff someone nearby, etc. I could have also set the, the Zoanthrope separate and just made it a, a unit of just one support. And that works fine too. There's kind of like lookout sir rules where they can't be targeted if they're too close to other units or whatever. So Hopefully this clears it up for you. It's essentially pick what class or upgrade you think the unit should be and then multiply that by up to six modules. And if you feel like they need to have a character attached or even a module as part of it, if I want that Zoanthrope to be two modules, he could be a Breacher and an attached support in one model. It's no big deal. Thank you so much for watching and this is your quick summary of unit creation.